I'm Henry. And I'm Heather. <laughs> We're back. Uh, so this week we want to talk about the party last week and it's then some other fun. things are going on. It was absolutely I awesome. I had a great time. Yeah, special thanks to Beggar's Caravan, Kevin yeah. Thornton, uh, who is uh, great at project management here at Bandwidth.com and Brandon are uh, part of that band and they were very gracious in giving their time. I'm and a I'm sold out fan now. I'd uh, never heard them play live until Thursday. So they're legit. amazing. They're on iTunes. Check them out. Yeah. Beggar's they're Caravan. Very, very um, and we had a couple hundred people out. I yeah, mean, it know, was. At various times, you know, it was a legitimate party. Yeah, it was. And everybody who came out said, "Next, not everybody, but the people I talked to okay. said, next time I'm gonna bring everybody I know." So I think yeah. we're gonna do more of them. Um, t-shirts for popular. Yeah, we gave out T-shirts. They're very cool. They're red. They say "Love Your Neighbor" on the front. They have our logo on the back. They were very popular. There's also a couple of blue ones. Some people said, "I'd wear it if it was blue." <laughs> I like the blue. One. But we talked about that last. I time. know. No, I think blue would be fine. So I'm looking down on my list of things, other things to talk about. Uh, the success grant push is largely over. At least you're not going to hear us talk about it. Not enough of my hair thing. Yeah, but hair piece is over. Yeah. I mean, not that you were wearing a hair piece, but <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> the shaving of your Sorry. hair is over. But right? we're going to talk now, and, and, and I blogged on this. We don't want to be known so much for the success grant, although that is revolutionary. It is innovative, and we would like to see that grow. Um, but we'd rather be known for getting people engaged in the community, and for us, those are about the two other things that uh, are really big at Durham Cares. One is volunteer matching. Yeah. Working with folks to understand what really floats their boat, what they really want to do. We had a woman uh, at the party who said, you know what I really like? I really like working with Hispanic kids because I'm fluent in Spanish and I like dancing. And so what we're going to do is we're going to go out there and we're going to find some yeah. opportunities for that. And we, we're getting more and more of you are logging onto the website registering for volunteer um, opportunities and we're calling you and we're talking to you and we're learning what what you want to do, what you're interested in, what you're passionate about, um, and we're coming, we're going out and finding those opportunities, um, matching your skills, gifts, passions with the actual needs in the community. That's right. And the other thing uh, that we want to focus on, uh, actually two other things, uh, Durham trips. Uh, starting in June, we're going to be able, uh, hopefully we're going to have a trip a week, but we really want people to come to the website and sign up for trips to understand what is going on in northeast central Durham, North Durham, South Durham, West Durham, uh, there's some great things that are going on in the way that are particular our kids are being educated. Uh, really exciting stuff. And the last thing we want to put in a plug for is the Week of Hope. The Week of Hope is a citywide initiative to give of your time, get involved, and really give back. And you'll find information on the website for that as well. The dates for that are July 5th through 12th. Yeah. We hope that that's something you all can get involved with, whether it's on an individual basis, whether it's with your church, workplace with your softball team uh, we have lots of great ideas and uh, yeah, and you'll see more and more information um, coming out starting the first week in June where you'll be able to look at our calendar and the concept of this is to get as many people out into the community for this one week just to get stuff done that people in um, the local community organizations need done for them um, so it's less about the personalized volunteer matching that we do and more just Let's see how many hands and feet we can get on the ground and get stuff done for that week. That makes a real impact in the community. Yep. Awesome. Yeah. All right. Well, thank you very much for tuning in. Thank you for <laughs> talking up Durham Cares. And most yeah. importantly, <laughs> love your neighbor. Thank you for loving your neighbor. Bye.